And now, sports with Corinne McGrath. It's been a crazy couple days in the world of sport across the globe and right here in Idaho. The Idaho State's men's basketball team was in Boise at the Big Sky Tournament yesterday preparing for their second game of the tournament after upsetting Northern Arizona. This was their first postseason win since 2009. They were warming up in the morning when they received word that they would not be playing in the quarterfinals game. The rest of both the men's and women's tournament was canceled, and the Big Sky Conference made a statement that after consulting with medical experts, local authorities, and the leadership of their institutions, that this decision is prudent given the health and well-being of all involved. This is head coach Ryan Looney's first year with the Bengals. He spoke today about ending his season with a win, but not being able to continue the remainder of the postseason. I think at first everyone's uh, immediate reaction was disappointment, um, but I think as time has gone on now, uh, you're thankful that the Big Sky Conference and the NCAA put everyone's safety uh, first. Um, I think we've all realized now that there's moments in life where there's things that are much more important than basketball. The Big Sky Conference announced this afternoon that they would be suspending all winter sports until further notice. The Big Sky's president or the Big Sky President's Council made this decision with the health and well-being of all its student athletes in mind. Idaho State's athletic director Pauline Thero spoke to all the athletic teams today to answer any questions and concerns they may have. Just wanted them to know we're we're going to support them. It's going to be business as usual in terms of training, lifting, practicing, studying, you know, matriculating, doing well academically. Uh, we'll be still accountable in all those ways, uh, and we want them to feel some degree of normalcy, even though we're not going to be competing. We spoke with Pauline before Idaho State decided to start their spring break early, which may affect the team's practicing and training. In national news, multiple NBA players have pledged to donate money to cover the salaries of hourly workers since the NBA has suspended the rest of their season due to the coronavirus. New Orleans Pelican star Zion Williamson, who is in his first year of the NBA after being 2019's number one draft pick, will pay Smoothie King Center workers' salaries for a month. Cleveland Cavaliers star Kevin Lowe was the trendsetter, offering his assistance Thursday in the form of donating $100,000 to workers at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. One day after placing its season on pause, the National Hockey League sent a memo to players asking them to self-quarantine in their home. The memo said at some point in the near future, NHL facilities will reopen allowing players to skate in small groups. According to reports, no NHL players are known to have been diagnosed with the coronavirus, though most NHL clubs have not tested all of their players.